Hey everyone, my name is Zach Sopak and today we are going to be talking about how to use your Sony camera as a webcam without any capture cards, without purchasing any software, it's absolutely free. So let's check it out. So here we are in 2020 and we all know what's going on in the world. And more than ever, people are in Zoom meetings and live streaming. And I wanted to find a way to use my Sony camera as a webcam, but I didn't want to buy a capture card. In fact, a ton of capture cards are actually sold out right now. And people who are reselling them on eBay are jacking up the prices because of supply and demand. There are a few inexpensive alternatives, but just for the casual user, this is going to be absolutely a step above anything else that you're going to see in your Zoom meetings. So let me give you a list of everything that you're going to need. First, you're going to need your Sony camera with a lens. And the only other thing that you're going to need for hardware is going to be a USB cable that connects to your camera to your computer. Now, preferably, you would want to use the cable that came with your camera because Probably like me, you've got a ton of these charging cables around that are micro USB to regular USB and they do fine for charging, but they don't always do well with data transfer. And so just make sure that you have a proper cable in order to connect your camera to your computer. And if you're using a camera like the a7 III, like I am, you can actually do this over USB Type-C to connect your camera to your computer. But it's not the only way to do it. You can do it with the standard mini USB cable. And not only that, but I'm gonna show you how it works on the newer generation cameras of Sony, but also an older generation a6300 as well. And that does it for the hardware. The only other thing that you're going to need are two free softwares, which I'm gonna leave the links down below in the description. They're called Camera Live and Cam Twist. These two softwares are going to work in conjunction with each other so that applications like Zoom, Google Hangouts, or OBS for live streaming can see your camera as a webcam. I'm gonna make it easy for you and I'm leaving the links down below to the software that you need and also the hardware that I mentioned in this video. But before I go any further, if you get value out of this video, please give some value right back to it by giving it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that way you can get notified every time I post a new video. So let's hop into the computer and get you set up to start using your camera as a webcam. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the links down below, hit the one that is right next to the words camera live. When you do, it'll take you directly to the newest version of their app, which in this case is 13 alpha. And you're gonna go to the camera live.zip and you're going to click on that, and let your computer download it. While you're doing that, go to the next link below it, which is cam twist and you're going to do the same thing, download the Cam Twist software. Pretty much from here on out, it'll be pretty straightforward. Now once you've done that, you're going to want to unzip these files. We're gonna start with Camera Live. As it unzips, here is our application, and we're just going to double click Camera Live. And we are going to allow it to open, you know, open at your own risk with these types of things. It's not Apple supported software, but it works just fine. Hit open and boom, that's the application and how it looks. So now that we have camera live, we're gonna to go to cam twist and we're going to download that as well. And here we're going to click on cam twist.package. Now you will probably be greeted with this alert because at least as far as Apple goes, they recognize it as not a Apple software. So it's kind of an enter at your own risk situation but you will be blocked from opening this package, but I have a workaround for you that's really, really easy. So we're just gonna hit okay for now. And then we're going to go to the top, go to system preferences. And when we do, we're going to go down to security and privacy. Now go to general, and then down here, you see this, that the cam twist package was blocked. Just go ahead and open it anyway. Again, do it at your own risk. It's totally fine in my opinion, but I have to say it. So go ahead, open anyway, and it'll say that it cannot verify. Are you sure you want to continue and open it? Of course we do. 
and continue through the process here. Install. You're gonna have to add in your administrative password. And just like that, it's all set and done. So now that we have our software downloaded, we have to do just two things in our camera's menu in order to get it ready to connect to the computer. First is this. Go to your menu setting and go to the briefcase. And where you see USB connection, you have a few options there. The one that you want is PC remote. The other one too that you're gonna want to go to is network and control with smartphone. And you're gonna wanna make sure that this is turned off. Now that we have that set, we're right about ready to go. So now let's get our camera hooked to the computer. So once your camera is set up and connected via USB to your computer, we just open first camera live. Let's go over to camera live and boom, there is our camera. Sony a7 III PC control. That's exactly what you wanna see when you're going to do this. The next thing that we do is we go to cam twist. Now when you open up cam twist, you're gonna see a few options here, but the one that we're gonna want is siphon. And when you double click on siphon here, you have some options. You have camera live and cam twist itself. And we are using camera live as a way to feed through cam twist. Then cam twist is going to send that to zoom. It's gonna send it to OBS and any other type of software that you wanna use. So we're gonna hit camera live. Okay, so now all you have to do is choose what you're gonna be using the camera for. Let me go over to zoom and I'm just going to start a new meeting. Sure, we'll start with the audio. And we'll see our video settings here and now we have cam twist as an option. Let me go ahead and give you a little preview though. So this is my webcam. It's fine, uh, my lighting probably isn't the greatest, but I'm a little limited. I have to kind of angle this a certain way. You can see some of the stuff in the background. There's no blur, there's no sort of like dynamic range or anything to this. So now let's switch over to the Sony camera and see how that compares. Click on here next to the camera and we're gonna go to cam twist. And instantly, so much better. Now we have all the functionality of Sony cameras and their lenses. And not only that, but we're able to operate with, check it out, autofocus. This is really cool because it's focusing on my face the entire time. I don't have to worry about, you know, being in or out of focus. And when you can put a lens like what I have on here, uh, Prime, this is a 35 1.8. When you can put something like that on there, it's gonna create a nice depth and separation in your background for your Zoom calls or even for live streams. And speaking of live stream, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use this in conjunction with OBS, which is another free software that I have linked down below. And let me show you how that works. So here I already have OBS downloaded. Click on OBS and you won't see anything right off the bat because we need to create a new source. Actually, I'm gonna do a new scene. Let's call this scratch. And then you're gonna add a new source and we're gonna go down to Siphon Client. You'll remember we did this on Cam Twist and it's gonna be the exact same thing here on OBS. So we hit Siphon Client, okay. And our source now, we can choose either, but I'm gonna go with Cam Twist. And boom, just like that. The one thing you might have to do is you might have to stretch it out to fill the screen. But that's an easy fix. All you have to do is right click and we go to transform. Oop. We go to transform and fit to screen. Boom. Now you have really high quality. This is really trippy looking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move one of those. Now you have a high quality webcam that you can use for live streaming. If you're looking to stream on Twitch or wherever, this is by far the most affordable route to go if you already have a Sony camera. And this has been really cool too in my Zoom meetings. I've been making all of my coworkers extremely jealous. <laughs>
Now, as I mentioned before, this also works for older Sony cameras, like one that I have right here, which is the Sony A6300. Now, I've already done all the settings that I had mentioned before in this camera, and I already have my USB cable hooked up to my computer. And I'm just gonna plug it in right here. And if you turn your attention to the computer, we see here that the A6300 is already showing up. So if we click on that, boom, now we've got another camera here. Technically, you could run this as a multicam setup. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So we've got our A7 III and our 6300. Now the 6300, it's a little bit of a different quality. I don't have as fast of a lens on it. This is F4. The other one is F1.8 and it's full frame, but you get the idea. So right here, you got two options, two ways that you could use your Sony cameras as a webcam. Uh, there's other things that go into this too. There's certainly lighting. Uh, I can give a list of the lights and stuff that I'm using down in the link below. But basically, when you're using a nice camera like this as a webcam, your quality is just already gonna stand out amongst those using the built-in webcams on their computers. So hey, I hope that you found this video helpful and that it gave you some value. If it did, please add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. It really helps to let me know that you are enjoying this content. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. That way you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Have fun with your webcams. Make your friends jealous, your employees, coworkers, whatever you have. Have fun streaming, all the things. <laughs> Let's make the best of this 2020 COVID-19 situation, huh? My name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.